I'm going to show you every single way to select an object in Adobe Photoshop. Starting with number one, the lasso tool allows you to create freehand selections so you can move around your mouse around a specific subject. So here you can see we selected the subject here, but this isn't really good with accuracy. Or you can use the magnetic lasso tool, which automatically determines and makes a point where the edges are in your photo. So here we're going to left click and we're just going to drag our mouse. We're not going to do anything. And as we slowly go, it's making points for us. Move your mouse around these edges. And if you mess up, you can press delete or backspace and it deletes any of the points. And then once you're done, you would just press enter. And then here it just selected this entire portion. There's also an option for polygonal lasso tool, which is great for selecting shapes. So let's say we want to select this bottom portion here. It's really good at making straight lines. So here you can see we selected this bottom portion very easily. And once again, we're going to press enter. Next, we have the pen tool, which is the most accurate and precise way you can cut out anything. But this is also the most tedious method. So click P on your keyboard to enable the pen tool. And how the pen tool works is you can create multiple points. So here we're going to left click to create a point. And then we can keep making points by just left clicking as we go along. So very similar to the magnetic lasso tool, except we have to do this manually. We can also make curved lines as well, so we don't have to make as many points. So let's just say we want to get this curve around his shoulder. You want to left click and make a point. And let's just say we want to end the line here. What you want to do is create a point here and drag. And you can see as we drag while holding left click, we're able to adjust this curvature. And then we can create another point and go on. You don't want to go too far because let's just say you want to end the line here. It's very hard to curve and keep it very precise with such a huge line. So I do like to make the points a little Bit closer to each other and you also need to close these points so you want to make sure that this selection ends so here we're going to click and connect them and then after right click and press make selection and then once you press OK, you can see we can delete this portion if you want. So this is the most precise way. The next method is with the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool will select colors that are exactly the same. So it's actually not good for photos like this where there's dynamic backgrounds and colors because in this instance, it will only select the yellow portions that are the same shade of yellow. Here, if you click on the shirt, you can see it selects only this specific type of yellow. The magic wand tool is particularly good at very flat images. So it might be good at selecting logos or vectors that have flat colors. So here, if you click on it, you can see it selects this logo very well. If you want to add more to the selection right now, it only selected this shade of blue. You can hold shift to add to the selection. So here, if you click on this shade of blue, it adds to it. We can also add this shade of pink and we can also add black. And then we can also add this shade of blue as well. And then you can do it for the rest of the areas here. If you wanted to subtract certain colors, like let's say the pink here, hold alt and then you'll subtract anything that you click on. Next, we have the quick selection tool. Instead of just clicking on the subject or creating specific points, you just need to click and drag your mouse. It'll select everything around where you click and drag. So here you can see we're just clicking and dragging while we go around his entire body. So this is really good for going around hair. So here you can see it selected this wood area. Similar to the magic wand tool, you can also just hold alt and here it'll subtract any area you hover over. If you are masking out more complex subjects like hair right here, you can press on enhance edge and this does a better job at helping select small hairs or small details. And to remove the background, just press add layer mask. There's a button in the bottom right. And here you can see we remove the background. If you're only dealing with a subject and you only need to select a subject, you can go over to select and subject right here and it automatically use its AI to select the subject. And it's actually really good most of the time. So here you can see we mask it out in like a few seconds. The last method we have is personally my favorite and I only recently discovered this. And so this method is called the object selection tool. And I think it's a little bit more versatile than the magic wand tool. It does a very similar thing. So if we click on it right here, and enable object finder it will basically detect objects for you so here you can see if we hover over certain subjects it will already create a mask for you essentially so here we just have to click on it and it'll select it instantly you can see here it's not perfect but you can do a similar thing and hold shift and just create a lasso around it so you can create your own selection you can change this to rectangle if you want so here we can create a rectangle around this area if we disable object finder, basically how it works is you can use a rectangle or a lasso shape and select around subjects that you want to mask. So similar to the lasso tool, except it refines your selection. So here, if we select around the subject, you can see it refines it and selects him and not the grass. That's it for the video. Make sure to check the link in the description for over 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud Suite if you're a student or teacher. Also, make sure to check out the Photoshop playlist in the description. That's about it. I'll see you in the next one.